Hi, kid, and welcome to this super smarty pants scientific kid time story time. Scientist, scientist, who do you see? I see people who made some incredible discoveries. And I see people who can look up into the skies and deep into the sea. And I see people who can make incredibly deadly chemicals that I can then enter into my bad stew. That is not at all what this book is about. Oh no, is that what you think, storyteller? Yes, that is what I think, you evil witch. No, 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 you don't understand. Somebody had to make the terrible chemicals that I put into my bad stew, you'll see. <laughs> Oh, scientists, scientists, what do you see? I see a scientific parody by a fella named Chris Ferry. Einstein, Einstein, who do you see? And that's the, the original brainiac of the theory of relativity. I see Marie Curie in her laboratory. Ooh, Marie Curie. She's the first person ever to get not one, but two Nobel Prizes. What did she make? Oh, so many things, discovered so many things, but things that you would recognize that she influenced? Oh, the development of x-rays and radiation treatments. Yes. And Curie Curie, who do you see? I see Ahmed Zawali pioneering laser chemistry. Ah, yes, that is what his Nobel Prize was for in chemistry with his rapid fire laser. Do, 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 do. Zawali, Zawali, who do you see? I see Grace Hopper making a computer inquiry. Who is Grace Hopper and why is she wearing this uniform? She's only a Navy Admiral. What? And apparently, I read about her, the uh, computer programmer who was like the very first compiler on those early supercomputers that were like the size of a room is what computers were. She was the first person who created uh, a computer program to compile information. That now we take it for granted, but back then, nobody done it. So, uh, Ms. Hopper, Ms. Hopper, who do you see? I see James Maxwell with magnets and electricity. Oh yes, James Maxwell was a Scottish physicist and he did a lot of cool things, but what I think is the coolest thing that I think you'll like that he uh, created? Color photography. Maxwell, Maxwell, who do you see in living color? I see Ada Lovelace writing computer code for thee. Oh, Ada Lovelace, before computers even existed, her brain was such a brainiac of mathematics that she was the first computer programmer. Mm -hmm. Lovelace, Lovelace, who do you see? I see George Carver studying botany. Oh, George Carver, love this guy, world famous chemist and botanist, developed tons and tons of foods that we eat to this day and really smart crop rotation processes that we still use today. So, Dr. Carver, Dr. Carver, who do you see? I see Chen Shung Wu experimenting carefully. Ah, yes, carefully, because she is the queen of nuclear research. Woo, woo, who do you see? I see Alan Turing inventing computer theory. Oh, yes. In fact, his work in World War II, Breaking Codes, is credited with ending World War II two years early. Oh, so Turing, Turing, who do you see? I see Anna Mani studying meteorology. Ever heard of her? She's from India, a meteorologist who developed tools that we can now use to measure the sun and wind energy. So, Mani, Mani, who do you see? I see Charles Darwin and the diversity of species. Ah, yes, you will study Charles Darwin in school if you haven't already, and his theory of evolution. So, Darwin, Darwin, who do you see? I see Katherine Johnson. Solving analytic geometry. 
Oh, yeah, you do. Ms. Johnson here was such a mathematical brain that she helped NASA get into space. That's right. Her story is so interesting, they even made a movie about it. So, Katherine Johnson, Johnson, who do you see? I see little scientists looking at me. Oh, is that you? Are you in there somewhere? Scientists, scientists, who do you see? Oh, look at this. And this is all of them. Uh, we see Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Ahmed Zawali, George Washington Carver, Ching Shing Wu, Chen Shing Wu, Alan Turing, Grace Hopper, James Maxwell, Ada Lovelace, Anna Mani, Charles Darwin, and Katherine Johnson looking at us. That's what we see. Ooh, any of these would make excellent uh, report card, like reports, like, like school reports and stuff. Any of these guys, if you have to do a math or STEM, any of these folks would be, make great subjects. And in the back of the book tells us more about each one. And if there's any one of these guys that really, really nabs your attention, well, you can study up some more on them. And finally, oh, we have Chris Ferry. And who is he? He's the writer. Let me see the flap. I took the flap off, but here he is. That's him in the flap of the book. He's a physicist, a mathematician, and a papa of four young scientists who thinks that you are not too young to be introduced to big ideas. And finally, who was the last scientist in the book? You. You can be the next person to change the world. There are so many questions left, and there really are. So the big question is, what is your answer going to be? And that was scientists, scientists, who do you see? I don't see the person who created all the evil ingredients that go into my bad stew. No, no, they're not in here at all because they are, I don't even know who those people are. They're probably witches. And you know what that means? What? That means that you are practicing witch discrimination. I am not. Yes, you are. Where are the witches? What? Okay, you know what? You're right. You're right. What? You're admitting it? Yes, I'm admitting it. Uh, 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 uh. What is this strange feeling I'm feeling right now? I don't know. Is it maybe happiness? <gasps> is that what happiness feels like? Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to go have some witch do to celebrate. Oh, 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 oh. Well... You all probably should leave because otherwise she'll start passing around the witch stew and nobody wants that. Believe me, we've, we all know that. So, see you next time, kid, on an always smart and scientific kid time, story time, and definitely avoid the bat stew. We all know.